Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up damage for your new line traced based weapon system. So at the moment when you shoot one of your AIs, straight in the head or wherever, it is going to do the line trace and it is going to stop as soon as you hit that enemy and it's not going to do anything else. It's not going to damage the AI, it's not going to have any impact effects or anything like that. It is essentially completely useless. So what we're going to be doing is basically just copying some of the code that we've set up from our projectile based weapon systems and moving it over and converting it in a way that it will work with our line trace. So if you shoot the enemy with our projectiles, you're going to see it's going to kill it after a couple of shots and that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. So what I'm going to do is going to go to my blueprints folder and open up my simple AI character and we're going to take a quick look at exactly how we handle damaging the player at the moment, uh, or rather damaging the AI at the moment. So when the AI begins to overlap with the projectile, it's going to generate a hit marker effect and then from there, it's going to take away some of that AI's health. It's then going to proceed to run and check to see whether or not that AI has now got less than zero health. And if it is, it's going to kill it off by destroying the actor, popping up a little kill widget. And then if it hasn't died, it's going to spawn an impact effect and it's going to move that AI to the location for that hit. So we're basically going to be converting and copying some of this code into our um, line based uh, system. So what we're going to do then, and this is something you've got to do for both weapons once again, is we're going to open up the AK-47 blueprint. And in here, what we need to do is work with our break hit result and then basically just rewrite this code that we've done here for our projectile based system into here. Now we are going to have to do this twice. So essentially what I'm going to do is make myself plenty of room. So anything that isn't part of the initial ray trace, I'm just going to move it all the way over to the right like that just to give myself a bit of space and what we should have now is two line traces one for each camera one for the normal player camera and one for the uh, aim down sight camera and from here I'm going to break the link to the print strings because we won't be needing this and instead what we're going to do is with the hit actor so when it hits the simple AI and the way we're going to do this is just by casting to simple AI we can tell it to run a bunch of code from here. So what I'm going to do is hook this up just like that and then as the simple AI what we're going to do is basically just remake all of that code that we've just done. So the first thing that it did was it created a widget. So create widget and this widget was just for the hit marker. So what we're going to do is create the hit marker widget and simply add this to the viewport. And then what we're going to do from here is as simple AI, we need to set their health to a lower value. So we're just going to move this along here. And then for that value, we're just going to take away 0.2 again. So we're going to do float minus float. And then for this, we are going to get the original value. So get health, hook this into here, and then just take away minus 20. Uh, sorry, not minus 20. You want to take away 0.2. And then from here, we're going to run that same check as we did before to check to see whether or not the AI's health has now gone below zero. So condition for this is going to be float less than or equal to zero. And then with this, we are going to put the return value into here. So if the new health is below zero, we are going to tell it 
to destroy that actor. So we're going to destroy actor and then the target is going to be the simple AI that we are referencing, the one that we've actually hit. And from there, we're also going to create a kill widget. Um, so that's for the pop-up, so kill pop-up. And then lastly, we're just going to add this to the viewport. And then what we're also gonna do, if they're still alive, what we're gonna do is spawn an emitter at location, and the location for this is going to be the location of the hit. So put this into the location, and then the template is simply going to be our explosion. And then with this, I'm not gonna worry about the reactive AI for now, I'm just gonna leave it here. Now, with this, you might run into an issue because we're doing this hit and it's just going to try and run this code no matter what. So what we need to do is figure out a way that we can tell it to do this anyway, but also if it does hit that actor, then we also want it to run this code. And the way that we're gonna do this is by actually selecting all of this, moving it over and we are just going to get this stuff, ignore the old projectile stuff. We are going to grab all of this for the ammo stuff first. And then we are going to put it into here. Now that's gonna break the link for all of this stuff up here. And what we're gonna to have to do is also copy and paste this twice so once again we have two lines of code. Now, put that in there and you should have the reloading stuff twice. But what you should also have is this bit here for casting to the simple AI. Now, what we're gonna do with this is after we have done everything for the um, <laughs> for the ammo and you know taking away the health and all of that good stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do is simply hook this up to the end, and we don't really need to do anything to this because if we compile it, it's not going to be able to cast to that AI, the simple AI, if the hit has not been made. So object wildcard of this one as well, just make sure you hook this up to hit actor. So basically if that is a broken link, essentially, it is not going to work. It's still gonna do a normal code, but then at the end, it's just gonna break this cycle. So compile, hit play, and let's shoot this dude. And you can see it is going to damage him. If I shoot him, it's going to damage him and it's gonna do everything that I want it to do. And that to me is looking quite nice. So just to test this again, grab my dude, shoot him a couple of times. You can see with every single hit, it is going to take away a bullet. And then once his health gets nice and low, it's just gonna finish him off and it's gonna kill him. And it's gonna do absolutely everything that I want it to do. Um, so hopefully you guys have a bit more fun with this. You now have a proper AI that you are able to damage and all of that good stuff. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video and enjoyed this little section on line tracing. The rest is entirely up for you. Um, and that is it. Once again guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.